how do you study in between exams? As exam season is coming up, a lot of you guys are going to be having exams one day after the other. So how do you make sure that you can prep for every single one of your exams, no matter how crowded they are? That's exactly what I'm about to tell you. Starting with step number one, which is kind of controversial, think about your last exam. A lot of people say, forget what happened in the last exam. It's gone. It's in the past. I agree to a certain extent, but I definitely don't fully agree. Now, let me explain this. Let's say, for example, you have a biology exam in week number one, and then you have your next biology exam the week after. Now, what a lot of people will do is if they don't do that well on the first exam, they will just completely forget about it. They will clear their mind, etc. which is obviously kind of good, but it's not the best sometimes. You need to make sure that you have at least some sort of a rough idea during your first exam to know exactly how to prep for your second one. And I'm going to be and I'm going to be diving into this very, very soon. But since exams are made up of different types of questions, like knowledge questions, like essay questions, etc. If, for example, in your first exam, you did really well in the knowledge part of your exam, then you can make sure that in the second exam, you can focus on doing that really well as well, because you have experience from that part, because you know that you're good at that part. And so what I'm saying is try your best to remember how well you did in the previous exam so that you can prep for the next exam. Now, obviously, at the same time, Time, if you didn't do that well, make sure that you don't get too stressed or too anxious because otherwise your mind is going to be foggy. You're going to be asking yourself, what if I don't do that well on the next exam? I didn't already do that well, etc. Make sure that you get that balance where you're able to prep for the following exam without getting too stressed out about the previous exam. Now, before we move on, I know what you're asking. Why on earth am I in front of the pyramid? Well, guess what? I have exams for my university coming up very, very soon. And one thing that I'm doing is I'm finding fun activities. It's a break, which brings me on to step number two, the after exam break. Now, the reason why a lot of people stress out in between exams, the reason why a lot of people don't know how to prep in between exams is because they don't know how long of a break they should take. Should it be one hour? Should it be three hours? Well, guess what I'm about to tell you. In my opinion, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you have enough of a break after the exam such that you're ready to prepare for your next one. A lot of people only rest for like 20 or 30 minutes after your exam. But think about it. You've just come out of a two hour session where you're locked in an exam hall, where there's not enough light, where you're stressed out, where where maybe your future is on the line, where a lot of things are happening in this one crowdy, sweaty, smelly room, and you're only giving yourself 20 minutes after the exam, it's unfair to you. And so again, what I would suggest doing is after the exam, make sure that you have a good after exam break. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to step number three. Now, I like to call the final step prevention. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but the point is that you need to be trying your absolute best to prevent anxiety and stress. What I mean is that you need to be preparing yourself as much as physically possible before the exams even come around. In other words, if you know that you only have a day between two of your exams, then make sure that you're prepping beforehand. If you know that you only have 24 hours or maybe even less sometimes to prepare for two different upcoming exams, then what you need to make sure is that you're looking at different papers way before. If you know, for example, that your paper one exam is next week and that your paper two exam after that is the week after, but you have a lot of different exams in between, don't try to only revise for paper one. Make sure that you're prepping for paper two in advance. So many people keep on getting this wrong. They leave their revision till last minute. And I know a lot of people in my comments do the same. And obviously, if you're studying now, the 99% of you are going to be studying in the future as well. So make sure that you take this as a tip. Stop trying to crowd everything in last minute. Try your absolute best to prepare everything way beforehand. And that's why it's called prevention. It's to prevent everything being crowded together. It's getting really dark in Egypt right now. And this is literally the only light source I have. So bear with me. But basically, a couple of weeks ago, I uploaded a video about something called blurting. It's this study technique where you're basically scribbling a lot of stuff down on the paper. And the way that I did it was I presented it using science. So I did a lot of editing on it. I included some research papers, some references, stuff like that. And when it comes to studying in between exams, I'm going to be releasing an even longer, more in-depth step-by-step guide on exactly how to study in between exams. This was more of a tips video than anything. So that video is going to be coming in the future. But I really wanted to get this video out as soon as possible because exam season is literally right around the corner. And I'm going to be covering everything to do with exam season, like how to deal with stress, anxiety, etc. very, very soon as well as subject specific topics. So for now, subscribe, stay tuned because I am going to be making sure that you become a 10 times better student.